fill the tape for this flyweight fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Steve Astrobot Ersag. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ready. Go. All right, big matchup in front of Kai Cotterflex tonight as we get to the early round action here. He has reeled off several consecutive wins. That set up an interim flyweight championship opportunity. And on any given Saturday night, a lot of people talk about Kata France as one of the more powerful flyweights in the world, but he's also one of the more well-rounded guys in the division. And he believes it is going to be that well-versed skill set that ends up getting him his hand raised here tonight. There by Ursa. Actually, right, so there it is, the leg kick from Kai Kata France. He figured to have a striking advantage tonight. So far, so good. Everything starts with the leg kick. It's a lot of the game plan of the city kickboxing team. They build reads off of your reactions. And Kai Kata France right now is trying to gain the recipe for the his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, look at that. These guys throwing early. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things come and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, and he connects there. Straight right, he misses. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Swing and a miss by Carl Fox. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, roundhouse kick. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Nice block. Hands higher, hands higher. Ursaig circling towards the left now. Strong straight left there. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Both guys appeared to land there. Able to check that kick as well. is what they call it, to go and end the fight. Oh! Wow, both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, big left hand! Oh! Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying. But he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Under 90 seconds to go on the round. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand there. 
Big land there. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job. Oh, Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic... Oh! Back to the feet. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Ursay, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how Oh, how good is that? He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kaido Blake Karafranz. All right, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer, Kai Karafranz, your winner by TKO, and as he continues to chase undisputed flyweight gold, this result certainly useful tonight. Yeah, you gotta have finishes. And Kai Carl gets a TKO tonight. He's just really good. The kid can do everything. And if he gets you hurt, he knows how to finish a fight. Congratulations, Kai. That was a great performance. And we'll see what happens with him later this year. But he believed a knockout tonight would be enough for a title shot. And perhaps it will be.